We return, ladies and gentlemen. We finally put safe in the Metro Fusion, but we've been warned that there's going to be something, you know, there's a giant target here and we need our missiles. It looks like a huge room, so it might be like a boss battle or something. <laughs> but let's see. <laughs> Please you for watching movies, but yeah. yeah. Hopefully, you know, everything is swell, Erzulia. Because that sucks. <laughs> Wait, how do I go down? How does one go down? Uh, uh. Yeah. Am I going crazy? Hmm. Have you tried the Ratchet and Clank, Ertulia? Or no? I don't know if you're a fan of this. But it came out on PlayStation 4. Oh, wait. Uh, I can... Wait, what can I do with this? I think it's a remake, right? Of number one? Oh! Skills! Oh, can I blow these things up now? I can. What is that? Um, but yeah. I don't know if you've played it. Did I find a secret or am I supposed to go this way? Using emulator? I am using the PSP. <laughs> Missile tank acquired. Because I don't have the, um, what is it called? Oh, there we go. I don't have the Game Boy, or the GameCube, you know, Game Boy Advance player thing. I have the game, like three copies, three cartridges of this. But I don't have, you know, the way to play. But yeah, I'll see, you know, I'll fix, I, I'll see. Because it might just be, you know, coming from, because here it looks normal, you know. But on here, I see what you're talking about now. You know. It's kind of hard to notice. You know what I mean? Since it's like a pixelated game. But since Samus is like running all over the place. You know, it's still noticeable. But yeah, I didn't even think of that. Oops. You've never played Ratchet and Clank? Neither have I. But my brothers and I, we have them on the PlayStation 2. What is this red one? Do they just keep coming out of nowhere? Like, are there a million of these? The parasites? Energy tank acquired, energy capaci capacity increased. I'm so glad. I'm gonna die! I'm guessing I learn how to roll or I get the morph ball ability. I'm so glad. Oh, I forgot I have like the energy tanks. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it! Death. 
I'm dead. Try again. Yes. Yes. What the butt? What the butt? Yeah, I'm. Oh god. And I think Metroid Prime. I don't know if I got 100%. I don't remember. I may have. And other M, I got 100%. I don't even know how. But I like, you know, exploration is my favorite part of the Metroid games. So, you know, I collected every. What are they called? Capsules? Right? The life capsules or something? And the power ups? E tanks? Oh no, that's from. Mega Man, right? Energy tank, okay. <laughs> Twilight Princess Majora's Mask! Majora's Mask is my second favorite Zelda. My first is Wind Waker. Okay. No! Why are we doing so bad? But Erzulia, have you heard? Uh, Prince passed away. I'm like, what the fuck? I think it was yesterday, right? Not today. Not today. Dark Games Heart! <laughs> yep. I like Dark Games too. With like dark stories. I have one missile left, can I do it? I can probably kill him with the normal one, right? Oops. Well, yes I can. Jacko Puka! Twice in a row. I didn't even see that. In other M, or not other M, in Super Metroid that happens too, right? When Samus explodes. Like, you can see her, like, go out of the suit. I know in the first one that happens, right? 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 Am I crazy? Oops. I need my energy! Don't do this to me! But have you played any of the other Zelda games or no? And what games do you have on the Wii U? Jensen. Alright, you turd. We meet again. Because Zelda is one of my favorite uh, franchises. And I've played almost every Zelda game. All I have now is the Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons, and then I beat them all. Hold on. Is it loud? Because it sounds really loud for me. The CGI games don't count. <laughs> nope. Did you know somebody I think is remaking the CGI games? Or they made at least a trailer. I don't know if it's gonna be like an actual thing. There's you think I fell asleep watching this stream. Hard! <laughs> well, have a lovely snooze, there's Julia. That's fine. Hopefully the music isn't like too loud for you or whatever. Have a nice snooze. And I hope you get better, Azulia. Don't fall apart or, you know, explode over there. You butt. Bye, or have a lovely snooze, uh, Azulia, if you're going to sleep. Hopefully you enjoy the sound of my voice <laughs> as you snooze. Oh no, not the one of Camelot. <laughs> yeah, Google it. Somebody, uh... Is he dead? Last week's up. Oh, I need this. 
Let me heal. Is that flat? Yeah, I know, but that's because of the microphone, you know. But over here, it's really, really loud. Like I have to turn up the speaker. Turn it up louder. Oh, I got this. <laughs> I have to turn it up to like 20 something, 22. So you can't even hear anything, I think. I'll see if I can fix that, you know, during the next stream of this game. We'll see, we'll see. Everything will be under control. You know, this was just like random. I was like, what do I want to play today? Mm, Metroid Fusion. <laughs> you know. I, I promise, on the next stream, everything will be better. It'll be better. <laughs> but he got me. He got me three times, right? Two times. Wait, the butt. My ball. Don't be a butt. I can't shoot it when it's like just yellow, right? Ooh. Oh, don't be a butt. Don't be a butt. Because that way, you know, I can just put like the headphones in or something and just play like that. And that way, you know, because people might be snoozing. Have you played Undertale? It's an awesome game. It is. I think it's my favorite game of 2015. Undertale. I played it once. I have all this stuff on YouTube if you want to see. Did you finish it or no, Undertale? Without giving away spoilers, I beat it. It's a really fun game. Have you played Earthbound? I recommend that too. But Undertale is fun. I got the neutral ending. Alright, you turd. Well, you can see, if you want, you can see it. Um, we beat it on the stream, the entire game. Which was fun. But people are turds. <laughs> people in the comments, I swear. Do this, do this, do this, ah, do that. I'm like, nope. Nope. This is what you get. So I basically, like... Killed off a few, you know, important people. <laughs> what did you get, chat? What did you get? Which was fun. You finished it? Have you finished it once? I only played it once. I don't think, you know, I don't really like playing games more than once. But that game has like three endings. And it says like it's a completely different, you know, experience playing it like more than once. What the- uh, Samus kind of looks like uh, Super Saiyan when she does that. Cool! You finished all the endings? No spoilers then. If you want to see, you know, like I said, I have my ending on YouTube. If you want. You don't have to. As well as I think the entire playthrough I uploaded. Which was fun. Up your butt! If you want to see, I have it like as a highlight on my website. As well as Super Metroid, but I don't. You say you haven't finished it, so the ending to that is also there. On my lovely website. Fun. <laughs> you like playing games only once? I recommend Ace Attorney. <laughs> I don't know about Ace Attorney. I don't know. Phoenix Wright, right? I don't know about that. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> the court and all that stuff, you know, it's so boring to me. I don't, so I don't think I'd be very good at Phoenix, right? I've played, um, what is it called? I've played the demo on the 3DS. I'm not very good at it, <laughs> but I like watching other people play it, you know? You know what I mean? I think I'll just suck at it though. What the, what the boy? I can't even get past this guy anymore. You know. 
<laughs> I just like pooped all over your favorite franchise. <laughs> Professor Layton, have you played that? It's, you know, I like that. But it depends on the game if I played it more than once. Because I have like a million games I want to get through, you know? So usually I just play it once. It's only certain times, maybe, when I've played a game more than once. Like Wind Waker, I've played a hundred million times as a toddler because, you know, I didn't have a memory card or anything. So I didn't have, you know, anything else to play. You know what I mean? But more recent games, I maybe like only once and then I want to go to something else. It's for people who like to read a lot? I don't mind. I like RPGs. RPGs are my favorite. And in RPGs, you know, you have to read like a million, a million things. But it's just like the court and stuff, you know, like in real life and whatever. That's just so boring to me. So I don't think, you know, that would make a fun game for me. You know what I mean? Even though I've seen people play it, you know, uh, and, you know, it has humor and all that stuff. You know, I don't know. I like RPGs and horror games are my favorite. So I don't mind reading. But it's just, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about keeping straight. The bitter. Well, yeah, if you've played it. Undertale, I recommend Earthbound. In the future, uh, I'll play Mother 1 as well on the stream. Because we beat Earthbound on the stream. After Iwara passed away, you know, I decided to play that. Because I have it on the Wii U. Oh god. Oh god. He's red. Ooh. Can I... When he's red, it didn't let me... Oh, it does. I just needed one shot. Wait, can I... Can I touch it? More probability recovered. Noise! Uh, so, uh, I've played Ace of and Professor Lightning Crossover. That's all? Oh, uh, is that good? Have you finished it or not? I... The only Ace of Or not Ace of uh, Professor Lightning game I have is, I think, the Miracle Mask. That game is really fun. The puzzles are insane. I played it on the stream too, that was really fun. It's fun, you know, like with the chat. You finished it? Is it good stuff or no? Because I've heard people say it's kind of like, you know, it's like me. But it's really cool that they did that. It's because I like it because of the story and the music. Oh, Phoenix, right? Yeah, I didn't, you know, it's not like a bad game, it's just I don't think it's like for me, you know. But I'd recommend, you know, if you like Undertale, you know, Earthbound, or Mother 1 or Mother 3. Actually, yesterday, it was Mother 3's 10 year anniversary. Oh, these are people. 10 year anniversary, you know, it never came out, fun fact, outside of Japan. So for 10 years, fans have been asking Nintendo to re-release it. And they didn't do anything yesterday. <laughs> they didn't say anything about it, nothing. Nope, nothing. So maybe during E3, hopefully? Come on, Nintendo, give us Mother 3. But I'd recommend if you like Undertale. Or Final Fantasy 6. Because there were so many, you know, references to both of those games in Undertale. I was like, oh my god, this game is so awesome. <laughs> but I like Undertale. I'm going to go up here. It was good. Uh, the music was swell. Orchestral and stuff. Have you ever been to like a symphony or orchestra or something? I'd recommend it. I went to the Zelda one, you know. The Zelda Symphony of the Goddesses. Second quest. I had a little tear, a little tear. Woo! <laughs> it was beautiful. I even made a video on it. Like, I think two years ago when I went. Two or three years. I think it was two years ago. Little tear. It was so good. Yeah. 
I'd recommend going, you know, to orchestra thing. I'd want to go to like the uh, Final Fantasy, uh, Final Fantasy one. Samus, it's as I feared. The breeding environments have been invaded by expertites. Sector one SRX shows several abnormalities on biosensors. Sector 1 as a simulation of the SR388 ecosystem. To get there, take the main elevator to the access right here. Shaft and use elevator number 1. You like Paper Mario? Oh yeah, I have to play that too. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Somewhere here, somewhere, up here. I made a hat. So in the future, we'll play... Um, Paper Mario, which is also like an RPG. You know, RPG. But my brothers also have it on the Game Boy Advance. Right here, you see. Here's our copy from like. Oh, I know, where is it? Okay, oh, where? I just had it. Here's our copy from like 10 years ago or something, or 15 years ago. They've played it, you know. And they finished it, they said it's awesome. But like I said, I've never played it. And look at the cover. You see that? Look at the cover. It's like all ripped and stuff. <laughs> it's kind of funny. See it? <laughs> but on top, it says Mario. And that's the um, Super... Was it? Superstar Sega, right? Mario and Luigi Superstar Sega on the Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. So it's all ripped and junk. Is your objective clear? Yes. Use the navigation room just inside for further briefing. I'm not sure, but I think that whoever allowed the X into the environment may also be linked to the earlier explosion. Dot dot dot. I don't like Final Fantasy. <gasps> you like my RPG? Yeah, I... In the future, I'll play it one day on the stream. Final Fantasy is one of my favorite franchises too. Wait, can I? No, I can't. My brother and I, we just made like a, a video talking about it like 30 minute long. Actually, it was the one hour long, but I edited it down to 30 minutes, you know, talking about why we like Final Fantasy so much and, you know, what the games mean to us and stuff like that. All right, so I'm supposed to go there, yes? Yes. How do I get there? I go that way. What's up there? I can't go there because I need the missile, right? Special one. But yeah, Mario Partners in Time. That was on the DS. Right, right? My favorite Mario RPG is Paper Mario 64 and Thousand Year Door! <laughs> I keep saying this, but my brothers have finished Thousand Year Door. I remember renting it as a toddler, you know? And that's the one I want to play on the stream one day. You know, I only have the 3DS one and people say it's not very good. You know, I haven't played it, we'll see. But... Thousand Year Door, I wanted to continue. I... The, as far as I got was... Like this dragon, which is I think like the first boss of the game, you know, this was a long time ago when I rented it, you know, when you could rent games back in the day. I couldn't get past this dragon. Oh, I can't go there, I need like a special suit or something. But yeah, Mario, have you played uh, Super Mario RPG? That's another one I want to play on the stream. But Final Fantasy VI, oh, I'd recommend it! <laughs> Alright, now that I have the thing, I can go here. I'm gonna see what's here. This is where I came from, right? No. Something exploded here. Yeah. Mm, I like RPGs where you can manipulate the outcome of the attacks. It's like Mario... Uh, Paper Mario and Mario Luigi, you can dodge enemy attacks during their turn and stuff. Bloop. Well, there are many RPGs that do this. You know, depending on what you play. Like, Crisis Core maybe? <laughs> That's Final Fantasy. You might like that. But you might not understand what's going on if you haven't played, you know, Final Fantasy 7 or something. Oh. Oh, what the butt? What the butt? What the butt? What the butt? Why is Samus here? Oh, what the glob? Is it like zombie Samus or something? 
Oh, come on, give me the powers. I want my powers back. Oh, sweet club. So, somebody copied my thing, right? That's what I was asking in Metroid Prime. There's Dark Samus. It's basically an exact copy of you. And that's what I was thinking. I was like, this X Parasite? Is this the reason, you know, um, the Dark Samus was created in Metroid Prime? It might be, but, you know, Nintendo removed that out of the timeline. So this has nothing to do with Metroid Prime. It's a separate thing. So who knows? But yeah, I know what you're talking about, Jansen. I'm going to check these elevators first. You see what I had nightmares? <laughs> Those as a toddler? Why, wait, why is this green? Sector 2. I probably can't go there yet. So I'm just gonna go this way. Sector 1. But yeah, I'll play that in the future. I made the hat. You know, because usually I wear something, like a costume or something, when I play games, or on the stream. So, you know, I made the Paper Mario thing, hat. <laughs> so when I play it, you know, uh, in the future, I'm ready. It'll be fun. But I recommend Earthbound if you haven't played it. You're going to get it on the Wii U for like 5 or $10. Dollars. I got it for free from Club Nintendo. The main, the main elevator leading to the access shaft has been securely damaged. It will be totally unusable for some time, unfortunately. Some unknown agent is at work. Something very powerful. Currently, certainly, currently, certainly, certainly not human. I'll report when I know more. Now, listen closely. The X in Sector 1 have invaded the atmosphere, atmospheric stabilizers. The game delivers the story very well, thanks to the navigation rooms. Oh, this? Well, okay, well, well thank you for not, you know, like, spoiling or something. They must want to alter the environment to their needs. They are already reproducing. Clear all five atmospheric stabilizers to stop them. Is your objective clear? Yes. Now, get moving. That's really cool. Save, yes, please. Oh, you said you have a Wii U, right, Jensen? You, I think uh, you can play Super Metroid on the Wii U. If you want, but you know, you have to buy it from the eShop or something. Weapons and energy are fully restored. Yes! You know, some people say it's like the greatest Metroid game, or like one of the best Super Nintendo games. It's really good stuff. It's really fun too. So, I'm guessing similar to other M, you have different colored, you know, like doors. And the only way to open them is by using the different missiles. So that makes sense. Oh, what the fuck is this? The yellow ones, they only recharge your life, right? And then the green ones give you missiles? Yes. Yes. Oh, what the butt? What is that thing? Is it just like pooping out? Atmospheric stabilizer online, four units still man malfunctioning. Huh. Don't be such a turd. Oh, 
Oh, you can't. You have to kill him with the missiles. Yellow one replenishes health, green one replenishes ammo, red one restores a lot of health and ammo. Thank you. See, this is why I need the map, because I have to look at it every time, like, you know, where I've been. That's what I like about this, too. It's similar to Zelda, where, like, if you've been to a room, it changes colors, like blue or whatever in Zelda, whereas, you know, in Metroid, it turns pink. If you haven't been there, it stays gray, which is really cool. But do you know if Nintendo ever made, like, a thing, official, like stuff that they sell like a helmet or you know uh, the gun or what is it called uh, Semis's cannon because that'd be cool <laughs> you know I know they have that figurine which I don't have you know it'd be kind of awesome to get that but I have the Link one from Skyward Sword, you know, the one where you can like move like the different, you know, like poses. But yeah. You don't think so? Yeah! What the what? Maybe they have, but you know, I just don't know. The green then, yeah. But yeah, I see what you mean now, like... When I look down here, it looks smooth, but then when I look here, it's like... Yeah, it's... I don't know why it's doing that. It might be just because of this cable. That sucks. Like, I'll try to fix it next time. Or I can maybe try to fix it now but it might take a while you know oh I'm guessing it's like also like oh God. super Metroid where you need the different colored things or not different color but different suits because there's a fr frozen room where, you know, Samus was slowly or quickly losing life and then you can't go in there or you will die. Let me show you. You see? <laughs> this is what happens. That was in Prime as well. Wait, did these guys go invisible? What the fuck? I like how you get missiles like every two seconds. Oh god, I can't. In the Metro Prime, sometimes it's difficult finding missiles. You know, some enemies give it to you, some don't. Sometimes they give you life and you don't need it. You're like, what the boy? I want this, but you give me this. I want to kill them all. Just to get all the goods. But yeah, I can try to fix it now. You know, the weird... Like, I see it now, you know? Like, on here it looks normal, but I see it now. But it might take a while. Let me just get up here. I want to kill the other one. It's fine for now. Uh, can I go here to get it? Hmm. But yeah. 
Uh, do you have Bayonetta too? Because in Bayonetta 2, one of the skins that Bayonetta uses is uh, Semis. Or, you know, the normal looking Semis, you know, where she's in the suit and stuff. And so when I was playing Bayonetta 2, I was like, you know, this is as close as we're gonna get to a, you know, like a new Metro game on the Wii U. <laughs> I was like, uh -huh, little tear. <laughs> You know, because <laughs> even though you know it sucks to say that, it's true. <laughs> Wait, where, do, where can I put save? Up there, right? Yes. It's cool. Yeah, it is. But you know, I want an actual Metroid game. Oh, what the fuck? Get heard. This guy's gonna kill me. Not today. <laughs> but you said you have a Wii U. Do you have any other consoles or no? So you play mostly on the computer. Uh, we built a computer for my brother. Wait, can I go down here? Nope. It was really awesome. It's the first computer we built. It was really fun too. But I have, you know, like these consoles here for like a million years. Since my toddler days, you know, like the Super Nintendo or PlayStation 1. As well as like a million other ones. Uh, what is in this room? I can't go here. Wait, you see next to my name, 38? Oh, never mind. I just answered my own question. I was gonna say... They keep coming back. <laughs> I was gonna say... Um, <laughs> How far am I? No! <laughs> I'm all the way back here! Oh man. But yeah, I was going to ask, you see how it says 88? Right up here somewhere? And then it shows like one red energy tank. Yeah, so when it's red, it means, you know, you have a full thing of life. When it's gray, it's empty. And now we know. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be right back. Stay tuned for more Metroid Fusion. It's been like 38 minutes here. I just died. We got this. We got this. Stay tuned for more. Right after this. Let's continue this game. Stay tuned.